morning, everyone. I'd like to welcome to the stage the General Manager and Senior Vice President of SAP Ariba, Mr. Pat McCarthy. Thank you very much, and uh, good morning, everyone. As I was uh, flying into Athens yesterday, I thought about how amazing it is to be here in this city talking about procurement and aviation, really the cradle of Western civilization. And interesting to me, at least, is the fact that all of my in-laws, every single one of my in-laws, are Greek, either directly from Greece or first-generation uh, Greeks. And so when we're eating some lamb or uh, having a family get-together, they'll remind me of the Greek culture and the Greek history. And one of the things that you know, commonly will come up is Greek mythology. And uh, that made me think of the story of Icarus. And I think many of you are familiar with the story of Icarus and the fact that his goal was to fly. And so he worked with his father, and he built himself a set of wings out of wax and feather. But his father warned him as they completed the wings. His father said, don't fly too close to the sun. You might get burned. Of course, you know what happened. He didn't listen to his father. He flew too close to the sun. The wax melted. The feathers came off, and Icarus came back down to earth. Now, some might say the moral of the story is, you know, hubris, arrogance, pride, not listening to your parents, maybe as simple as, you know, just flying too high. And I would suggest that there's actually a completely different story here that Icarus could have built sturdier, stronger wings only if he had a better supply chain. <laughs> so. As I said, it's a real pleasure to be here. Uh, I'm Pat McCarthy, and I'm the Senior Vice President and General Manager for uh, SAP Ariba. And it's a real pleasure to welcome so many procurement and supply chain professionals, specifically from the airline industry here today, to talk about the broader topic of procurement and supply chain in the industry. And because when it comes to the airline and aviation industry today, there is no mythology involved. It is an amazing opportunity, but we also face tremendous challenges. High demand and low interest rates in this industry have fueled the growth. When you look at passenger um, capacity doubling every 15 years, when you look at the f advances in aviation and in aircraft and the incremental reliability, um, it's amazing to see what's happened in a very short amount of time, and it's amazing to see the journey that the airline industry has been on. And while there are those opportunities and challenges um, in front of us, you know, the, the reality exists that there are things like high fixed costs that will challenge the industry. They're facts of life, um, and they're not going to go away. So the airline industry has to continue to innovate uh, around these things. That's why controlling cost while driving innovation in the airline industry has never been more important. It will separate success from failure. And to control those costs, the airline industry have continued to look at technology to help them advance, technology to help them gain deeper insights. And they're reimagining real-time visibility and control in their supply chains. They're looking at their operational processes and continuing to enhance the execution and the efficiency of those processes. Um, they're enhancing, tremendously enhancing the service offerings. I spent a lot of time um, on airlines, and airlines continue to innovate and drive a different experience for me, you know, really understanding the personalization of the offerings for somebody who's sitting in 14C. So as we look at what's going on in the industry today, it is a, an incredible opportunity for us um, to move away from the topic of wax and feathers, and they're talking about you know, variable intake turbofan engines and advanced uh, avionics. I was with Rockwell Collins uh, recently, and they told me that the pilot was there for my comfort alone. Um, so in other respects, the industry has remained largely unchanged. The industry has looked at the same metrics to talk about performance for a long time, whether that's revenue per passenger mile or kilometer, whether that's load factor, unit cost per available seat kilometer, those same metrics have been used for a long time. And trying to balance what those KPIs look like but still drive an increased experience for the passenger, for those public companies and their shareholders, for the organization themselves, and now adding in 
what's the airline's industry and impact on the environment. So as you look to optimize safety, reliability, support, and improve the passenger experience, there's a real opportunity to dig deep into your supply chain and the concept of tracking and managing parts and equipment in supply chains is not new, uh, but the idea of not only managing and tracking parts and equipment, but my suppliers, and not just my suppliers, but my supplier supplier and my supplier supplier supplier, the end tier view back into your supply chain, gives tremendous advantage to organizations around understanding what their costs and what their opportunities really look like. And in an industry like aviation, risk management is so critical. You know, just the standard things that the industry deals with, whether that's weather, exchange rate, fuel, prices, regulatory environment, all of those things. And in addition to that, the fact that they need to drive transparency um, in their views and transparency into what's happening in their uh, organization. So the interconnected operations that exist today across suppliers um, and the supply chain, giving procurement professionals an opportunity to not only see the risks, but to react and take action against those risks before they arise. And these, this idea of a digital network connecting partners uh, and allowing for collaboration on the service and delivery. So no longer the airline kind of blindly going to the marketplace, but really truly collaborating with their suppliers and extending the competitive advantage, not only for themselves, but for their partners is really starting to take hold. It's enabling supply chain and procurement professionals to reimagine not only the future of aviation, but the future of procurement's role in it. And I'm pleased to say so many of uh, the companies here today are on this journey with us today, where they're partnering with us and driving and receiving the immense value of digital networks, benefiting both themselves and their organizations and their partners. And it's clear that in the aviation industry, trying to do this on your own isn't really truly possible, that we can succeed uh, more fully and more completely when we partner across the entire industry. And I think it's fair to say we'll drive more success when we don't fly solo. And I'm happy to say I'm not flying solo this morning. I have uh, a great set of partners here with me today. I'd like to invite Steve Saxton up on stage. Steve is a senior partner with McKinsey, based in Shanghai, focused exclusively on the airline industry uh, to talk with you this morning. Welcome, Steve. Mm -hmm.